Hi, Hi we're John, John and Leah. Leah. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving in a few days' time. Yes, in a few days' time. <laughs> we want to let you know before this video starts that we have got merch available. So these the gowns John and Leah Hotel are out now, guys. So excited. They've been out for a couple of days and we just wanted to let you know, get yours while you can because <laughs> There are very limited, very limited of stock, these. and once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. The, the manufacturer was like, "This is how much material I've got. Yeah. This is how many we've made." And they, once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. The Let's embroidery show is really premium. Look at that! So it's like nice. shimmery gold. Yes. And this is super fluffy. So this is like you know the really soft material. It's not like toweling material. Yes. Um, so nice but and yeah, soft. If you want to get yours, click the link in the description. And go get it. Yeah, absolutely. Hope you enjoy. Yeah. Send us your pics. On with the video. Hi, Hi we're, we're John and Leah. Leah. And happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This is an exciting time of year for us. And as you may or may not know, mm -hmm. we did say this time last year, we'd love to be having Thanksgiving dinner, lunch or dinner with, with someone. But yeah. it, unfortunately, it was not it possible because we're not in the US. No, we've, we've had loads of offers. Loads of you have emailed like us. Four or five, yeah. so maybe 10 well, that's, now. Yeah, probably. But that's probably loads. That's loads. loads. I think that's loads. Yeah. Of people being like, come and spend, you're invited to Thanksgiving at our house. Yeah. But sadly, as Leah said, we're in the UK, we're not in the US. We were not um, able to make it to those houses. No. We would have had to have picked one. That would have been tough. Yeah. You know, would we have pre-skyped the family as a sort of safety, safety measure? Net? Probably. Yeah, probably. But still. <laughs> anyway. Um. But no, it's fine. We're we're celebrating Thanksgiving in our own way, and uh, we thought today we'd celebrate by taking the ultimate Thanksgiving Thanks. quiz. quiz. I don't know how this is going to go down. Yeah, I don't know. It just sort of me it means that we have to rejig our memory and think about everything we learned yeah. last year when we did educate ourselves a little bit on Thanksgiving. Yeah. And it's been a whole year, so we'll who knows? How who knows go. how it's going to go? But before we start, if you if you enjoy two amazing people just chatting about fun things, yeah. then subscribe. We post videos thrice week. That was me subscribing. Subscribe, that's it. That's it. Subscribe. And if yeah. you love us that much, <laughs> much? more, you can join our channel. channel and become a channel yeah. member. Channel members get access to videos early. They get early access to things like merchandise, which we yeah. release on the regular. Mm -hmm. And also you get a lovely emoji next to your name. Yeah. And as the tiers go up, as the longer you've been a member, you get different emojis. So yeah. some of our some of our most loyal members are tacos right now. They're tacos right now. Well, yeah, we've got Union Jacks if you just sign up yeah. for two months and then you become a taco. And then there's yeah. other ones, Prosecco emojis will be yeah. eventually. That was fantastic. Um, yeah. You get those crowns. Anyway, anyway, let's crack on with this Thanksgiving quiz. Thanksgiving quiz. Okay, here we go. Okay. Play along. Here we go. Who made Thanksgiving a national holiday in 1863? President Andrew Johnson, President Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln, or President James Buchanan? Buchanan. I don't recognise the names Andrew, Andrew Johnson, Johnson or, or James, James Buchanan. Buchanan. So That's we, fake. That's got to, I've never heard them. Let's go Abraham, get Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Great. Yes, correct. Ding, 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 ding. It's okay. correct. President Abraham I'm Lincoln thinking. proclaimed that Thanksgiving would be the last day in November. Oh, great. Amazing. Okay. Lincoln was mainly out to boost the Union Army. Okay, all right. We don't okay, understand okay, anything about that bit. war Army. armies. What right. is it good American for? history. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, why did President Franklin Roosevelt move Thanksgiving up one week earlier in 1939? To appease businesses, to accommodate soldiers, or to fit in with his new deal? Right, so is it about businesses, soldiers, or about his own shit? His new own deal. stuff? What's a new deal? His new deal. Probably Maybe he's got a new deal with like, like, like we get brand, brand deals. deals. Like he's got a deal with Squarespace and he's like, yeah, he's like I need know to move what? Thanksgiving guys. I need to make this spawn work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was me doing a hashtag. Hashtag, hashtag spawn. spawn. Um, um, I don't know anything about this history. So this is literally like a stab in the 1939. Dark. That was a long time ago. And then it's like to accommodate soldiers. Like was anything happening in 1939? I don't think so. To appease businesses. I don't know Why what would he try to appease, again? like to make them be like back down, like oh. to give in to them basically? Oh, okay. Or to fit with his, I reckon him's his yeah. own. New deal. His <laughs> new deal. Oh, oh no. no! To appease businesses. He wants to appease businesses that wanted a longer Christmas shopping season, so he moved it up a week. 
wanted a longer right so businesses were like do you know what you're you've got this quite late on in november yeah. and i need to get my christmas decorations out and get i need to make, out. i need to, <laughs> I need to make christmas money yeah and you're eating into my christmas money making period so they contacted so, the president wait. and they were like can you move thanksgiving earlier excuse me mr president i might do that why don't i contact trump and say move mm. it earlier yeah move my birthday early so people stop doing we've got a thanksgiving video going up in a few <laughs> weeks but could you just move thanksgiving just to earlier make it a bit earlier bit schedule what i'm confused about as yeah. well though is why americans are so averse is it averse or adverse adverse, adverse to celebrating christmas before thanksgiving well, of course not. For Brit, no but for Brit, for us we've started christmas like first of november is christmas mad oh right yeah the shops yeah. Are, everything over there there's a shopping center yeah. over there i'm not just pointing out <laughs> <laughs> over there <laughs> they've got christmas trees everywhere yeah. everywhere's decked out everywhere's decked out but in america yeah. i feel like everyone's like no you can't celebrate christmas till after thanksgiving i'm like yeah. do both not you until you've eaten both. your thanksgiving turkey turkey which is basically so a christmas, christmas dinner yeah I mean, it's something I'm we will never truly, truly understand. By the way, it said, he later compromised by making it the fourth Thursday in November. So uh, at least okay. we know that. Yeah. Okay. What protein source do scholars believe was featured at the very first Thanksgiving celebration? Fish, buffalo or quail. Oh my gosh, this is so much more so interesting weird. than turkey. Yeah. Okay. Well, is it going to be fish? Like, I don't think fish is going to fill anyone up. No. Now, it was is it quail and egg? No. <laughs> a quail's a tiny little bird. Oh, yeah. They lay the tiny, the tiny eggs. eggs. Oh, it can't be that. So they'd have had to eat in like a million No, but I reckon... It depends when the first Thanksgiving was, but I reckon they're more likely to have fish and quail than a buffalo. Yeah, first, for the first Thanksgiving was in 1863, I think. Would there when... be buffalo in 1863? I feel I like know. they were invented in the 1900s. It, yeah, maybe. Like, they probably didn't even have... They didn't they exist. Didn't, yeah. A scientist it's made like them. dinosaurs, like they wouldn't have even... Yeah. But they're dead now, but... Yeah. Yeah. What, the scientists? The dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> so should we go for quail? Let's go quail. <laughs> oh, fish. fish! Damn, Damn it. it! Venison and fish it's instead so of turkey, turkey were probably the main sources of protein at our first communal gathering. gathering. Right, wow. well, we're not doing very well, John. I think we got one right so far. Yeah, but one is better than none. Yeah, I like your attitude. Yeah. Okay. okay. So what holiday did some Native Americans begin observing instead of Thanksgiving in 1970? Christmas. No. Is it? Day oh, of no. Remembrance. Day of Mourning or, or Chieftain's Day. What is Chieftain's Day? Day? Should we go what for... I've never Native heard of Americans. that. Day of Remembrance is probably different to our Remembrance. I know what it is. I know what it is. Day of Remembrance. It's Day of Mourning. Oh, is it? Because that's it. Because there's Morning. controversy around Thanksgiving being Happy people celebrating the death of Native Americans. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. And like how Thanksgiving is basically like colonialism. Yeah, yeah. I remember so seeing the comments about that. Yeah. So Day of Mourning. Yes! yes! Well done. See, we do listen and we try to learn. Many Native Americans began a day of mourning to remember the violence and discrimination suffered by their ancestors so it is yeah, still some sort of seen as controversial Do you in know some what? ways i people. think thanksgiving is probably amazing and if people want to celebrate it celebrate it if yeah, you don't, don't don't but i do think it's actually probably very important to native americans yeah they were the people first in the country yeah and i think it's rude that people came into their country yeah. from the uk probably yeah and were like no. Kill, kill. Yeah. Let's celebrate how great we are. So I'd probably join them having a day, day of morning. morning. Yeah. Anything to just switch the lights off and sit inside. Yeah, basically. Yeah. That's really insensitive. <gasps> this is about you. Okay, go on then. Okay. The ancient Greeks. Oh my God, I'm so you. ancient. You're so ancient. Held a three-day festival every autorn to honor what goddess? Do you know you what this, must know do you know this, what this reminds me of? Yeah, exactly that. In yeah. school where they're like, how come you don't know all Greek mythology? You're Greek. And you're like, guys. Oh, well, this is a Greek guy that doesn't like olives. Yeah, I know. I've tried every olive. I try them every year. I still don't like olives. Lay off. You like one brand of olives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Castello, Verano, Sicilian olives. Google them. They're so nice. Yeah, nice. Uh, I love olives. Uh, you're like, anyway. they're nice. <laughs> so, they're nice. Okay, go on um, then. What three-day well, festival John, celebrated which goddess? Go on Aphrodite. Then. I can't see Demeter, the Demeter. And Hera. Oh yeah, why am I hiding yeah, yeah. from you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, can't see the answers, you have to click on it. <laughs> the Ancient Greeks, a three-day festival to honour what goddess? So Aphrodite, god of goddess of love. Okay. Demeter, don't know what she was about. And Hera, I should know what she was about. I don't know either of those. I only know Aphrodite. 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 <laughs> so a three-day festival every autumn. Autumn. Oh, I don't 
know what festival. Should we just go for? What do you want to go for? Hera. Hera. Let's go for Hera. <laughs> oh, Demeter. Every autumn, the ancient Greeks held a festival honoring Deme <gasps> Demeter, the god of corn, corn and, and grains. grains. Oh, she sounds amazing. The God oh, of she corn loves and grains. Corn and grains. She loves it. That's fantastic. That's good. Okay. I bet some Americans wouldn't know that though. I no. bet lots of our viewers are like, I wouldn't have known that. God, why is another question for Thanksgiving about Greek mythology? Have you changed quiz halfway through? No, I'm still on it. Okay. In Greek mythology, <laughs> what did the cornucopia represent? I don't a know. A severed goat's horn, a basket full of the autumn harvest, or a satchel belonging to Hera? I think I know the answer to this. Well, cornucopia sounds a little bit like Hera. the corn and the grain, so it could be it's the autumn true. harvest. I think it's the autumn harvest, because I've seen like a cornucopia yeah. basket with like vegetables and fruit coming out of it. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, I got it wrong! A I swear severed I've seen that. goat's horn. So what's this got to do with Thanksgiving? Does anyone know what Greek mythology has got to do with cranks? It says that a severed goat's horn will produce a never-ending supply of whatever the owner desires. So I guess they want abundance for Thanksgiving. It's like harvest and right. abundance, so maybe that's why. According to Greek mythology, the prominent Thanksgiving symbol of a cornucopia is an enchanted severed goat's horn that will produce, yeah, a never-ending supply of whatever its owner desires. The only um, cornucopia I've ever heard of is the one in Hunger Games, where all the weapons are stored, and they're like, Go to the cornucopia! Oh, see, I don't even know what they look like. It's just like a... It's like a severed goat's horn. Basically that. <laughs> Here we go. Which state was the first to make Thanksgiving a yearly occasion before it became a national holiday? Ooh. Massachusetts, New York, or, or New Hampshire. Hampshire? I just feel like it would be New Hampshire. Yeah, because that's where I'm from. I'm from New Hampshire. Hampshire. And New Hampshire in America They sound like they're like, quite forward thinking. Yeah. Should we go like for me? that? Let's go New Hampshire. New York! New York. New York. New in York, 1817, New York. New York adopted a yearly Thanksgiving day and other states followed suit. Of, of course, course they, they did. did. They're commercial. Yeah. And New, New York is like a trendsetter. Damn it. Damn. Okay. What food do more than 90% of Americans eat on Thanksgiving? Cranberries, pumpkin pie or turkey? Well, it's got to be turkey, It's got surely. to be pumpkin pie, hasn't it? Oh, turkey. Turkey. It's got to be what turkey. What does everyone eat? Turkey. Like, what? They're all going to have that as pudding, no? Yeah. Probably. Pumpkin. And they'll all have cranberries. Yeah, but... Uh, turkey. It's got to be turkey. It must it's be turkey. It's the meat. Right, three, two, one. Yes! yes. It's an integral part yes. of Thanksgiving. More than 90% of Americans, Americans have it on their table. Yes. We've got it right. Yes. yes. I just love getting things right. Yeah. Okay. What store is the sponsor of the holiday's most popular parade? We Sears, know this. Target, or Macy's? Macy's. Macy's. Click. Yes. Click. 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 I know this because of the parade. The parade, which I used to see on Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, and yeah. they have the Macy's parade yeah. to celebrate Thanksgiving. And we did we watch videos of it, and we were like, "What's going yeah, on we here?" It's really extra Balloons parade. And, yeah. Yeah. Thousands of people watch floats parade down the street in Macy's. In the Macy's wow. Thanksgiving Day Parade. How much do they pay to be the official sponsor of that? Who knows? Insane. How do we get a Joel and Leah float in the Macy's Parade? Imagine us on a float, like. That would be amazing. The people that still don't understand yeah. it. We're still getting to know America. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. How much, about how much turkey does a single American consume each year? Each year. 10 pounds, which is 4.5 kilograms. 13 pounds six kilograms or 16 pounds 7.3 kilograms worth of turkey now i don't want to be offensive but americans tend to be larger than brits okay so i'm gonna say 16, 16 pounds i i would agree with you on that <coughs> 13, 13 damn it you should have gone for the for moderate middle one, answer yeah according to the u.s census bureau the typical american consumed 13.4 pounds of turkey in 2004 wow. that's a bit dated yeah that is well People dated have got bigger since 2004 they have so we're probably we've correct got, yeah, we've, that's correct it's correct 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 <laughs> in that same year the typical american mate ate 4.7 pounds of sweet potatoes oh, i love Lovely. sweet potatoes isn't that what they call yams oh really i think americans call them yams yams, yams. i don't know we call it's it sweet, sweet potato. potato yeah maybe it is I a yam know. I never saw sweet potato fries on their menu. No. Did you? No, but then I never saw yam, yam fries. fries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joe, are you ready for our score? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. 40%. percent Almost an expert, but not quite. You scored four out of ten. Average score, 51%. We're not that far under the average. Oh, wow. 
Remember when we said in a video, we were like, that's a pass, 40%, yeah. that's a pass. That's amazing. Everyone's like, that is a fail. That's a fail. Well, I think we're getting there. Yeah. Last year, we didn't know a lot about Thanksgiving. This, this year, year, we know a bit more. A bit more. And next year, maybe we'll get 50%. Maybe. Stay subscribed. Who knows? <laughs> um, are you guys appalled by our lack of knowledge, or are you quite impressed? Because yeah. those Greek questions, I feel like, weren't very Thanksgiving-y. No, I, I didn't get it either. No. I really didn't get it. Do you want to do a quick fire round of true or false? Okay. Okay. One, Canada also has Thanksgiving. They have their holiday on the second Monday in October. True or false? True. That's correct. Yes. The pilgrims only celebrated three days, the Sabbath, fast days, and the days of Thanksgiving. False? F false. It's true. Okay. <sighs> Every year, the President of the United States pardons a turkey who spends the rest of its life on a historical farm. I true think this is false? true. I feel like this is true. This is one of weird tradition that I've heard of. Right, let's find out. It's true. I can't it's wait true. to see Donald do that. I'm pardoning I'm you. I'm pardoning you, You go Turkey. and have a lovely life. Go and have a lovely life. You enjoy life. your life. You, I'm killing you, I'm eating you. You in the kitchen now. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, there we go. That was a little quick fire, <clears throat> true and false. We love doing yeah. those. Let us know if you enjoyed it. If you've got other quizzes you want us to do based on anything, really, let us know. Send, Send it to them, us in the comments. Yeah, in the comments, in the comments. Mm -hmm. It's better not to say your email address online because yeah. you get spam. We did that one time, remember? Oh, and that we was had hundreds, hundreds of emails. That was awful. That was, we regretted that. That was really, that was huge regret. Yeah. Yeah, I think we actually went back into the video and edited out that part. Yeah. Because we were like, so we put it on screen as well. That was awful. Rookie error. Just proves that if you put something on screen, like Joel yeah. and Leah shop, yeah. you put that on screen, John that's Leah our merch. Com, <laughs> the people will go yeah. and they will buy your tea towels. So <laughs> yeah. if you yeah, haven't got your tea towels, then go and grab them now. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. You can also become a channel member. You can. If you want to get early access to videos, if you want emojis next to your name, stickers for live streams, etc., then click join next to subscribe and you can become a John and Leah member. That was me clicking join. There you Join. go. And there subscribe go. next to it. Yeah, and this is me signing a contract. Yeah, and this is me saying goodbye. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See ya. That was so smooth. So smooth. That was so smooth. As you were doing it, I was like, we should be on TV. We should. We're such good Someone improvisers. give us a job. Give us a contract yeah, to sign. Sign. Sign Docu -sign. up. DocuSign. <laughs> <laughs>